that are growing and dividing go through a repeating series of events called the cell division cycle or cell cycle. During the first phase, G1, the cell grows and prepares for DNA replication, which occurs in the subsequent S phase. Further growth takes place in the G2 phase. G1, S, and G2 collectively are called interphase. After interphase, the M phase, mitosis, occurs during which the nucleus divides. Cytokinesis, division of the cytoplasm, usually follows mitosis. Both haploid and diploid cells can undergo mitosis. During interphase, the nucleus contains chromosomes that were duplicated during S phase and are so extended that they cannot be seen individually. Within the nucleus is a darkly stained region called the nucleolus. Outside the nucleus are two centrosomes produced by duplication of a single centrosome during early interphase. Each centrosome consists of a pair of centrioles. Centrosomes serve as microtubule organizing centers. Microtubules extend from the centrosomes radially to form an aster. The first stage of mitosis is prophase. As prophase begins, the chromosomes start to condense so that each duplicated chromosome becomes visible as a pair of sister chromatids joined by the duplicated but unseparated centromeres. Outside the nucleus, the two centrioles move apart from each other towards opposite ends of the cell. As they do so, the mitotic spindle proteins, called microtubules, assemble between them. At the same time, the sister chromatids continue to condense. Near the end of prophase, the nuclear envelope breaks down and the nucleolus disappears, signaling the beginning of the substage called prometaphase. The microtubules now enter the nuclear area and attach to the sister chromatids at a region near the centromere called the kinetochore. Those microtubules that extend from the centrioles to the centromere of the sister chromatids are called kinetochore microtubules. Those that extend from centriole to centriole at opposite ends of the cell are called polar microtubules. During metaphase, the kinetochore microtubules align the sister chromatids along an imaginary plane halfway between the two centrioles at the opposite ends of the cell. This plane is called the metaphase plate. The spindle is fully formed at this point, and the chromosomes are at their most condensed. Anaphase begins when the two sister chromatids separate at their centromeres, giving rise to two daughter chromosomes. These chromosomes separate and move towards the centrioles at opposite ends. The pulling of the daughter chromosomes occurs as the kinetochore microtubules contract and become shorter. At the same time, the polar microtubules lengthen and the cell membrane begins to elongate, causing it to become elliptical in shape. Depending where the centromere is located along the chromosome, a characteristic shape, such as a V or a J, appears during chromosome movement. At the end of anaphase, a complete set of chromosomes has assembled at each pole of the cell. The final stage is telophase. The chromosomes are now assembled at the opposite ends of the cell. The chromosomes begin to uncoil and become less visible. A nuclear envelope forms around each chromosome set, and the spindle disappears. Within each nucleus, a nucleolus reappears. At this point, nuclear division is complete. Telophase is usually followed by cytokinesis. Cytokinesis compartmentalizes the two nuclei into separate cells. Mitosis is a highly ordered process in which one copy of each duplicated chromosome is segregated into each of the two daughter cells. The end product of mitosis is two cells genetically identical to each other and to the parent cell from which they arose. Illustrating this in the diagram is mitosis of a diploid cell with the genotype big A, little a.